Everybody wants to know, what indicators does Patrick Whelan use? What kind of monitors does he have? How does he do it every day, every day, making it happen live on YouTube? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what indicators I use, the pivot points, the VWAP, and the price action concepts. And luckily for you guys, I'll even tell you about the monitors that I have as well. Right here behind me is four LG 4K 32-inch monitors mounted vertically. This is the ultimate day trading setup here in 2020. For. I don't care what anyone says. If you ain't got it like this, you're doing something wrong, my friends. And I'm not even sponsored by LG. LG, if you want to send me a big fat check for selling all these monitors, I'll take it. But hey, I'm not getting it. I'm just letting you guys know. The secret is out. Patrick Whelan, four monitors vertical. I've got so many damn charts and so much action. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first chart that we're pulling up here is probably my go-to chart when it comes to like what I'm looking at price action and things like that. This is the two-minute chart right now. We're looking at the two-minute chart. We've got a couple indicators on here. Simply, Lux Algo price action concepts and how it works. Basically, what it's doing is identifying things like fair value gaps, different levels, and the trends, and all that fun stuff. So one of the features with Lux Algo is this trend line feature, right? So it's basically showing you these different trend lines that the market might be following based on the different levels. So right now, the market pushing back up here. What I always like to do, obviously, is kind of zoom out, look at bigger time frames. The great thing about the Lux Algo indicator with the price action concepts is obviously every time I change, you know, okay, this is the 15 minute chart. Like it looks a lot more bullish. 15 chart looks a lot more bullish than if you're like looking at it right here, right? But the cool thing is, guess what? We have all of our indicators on every single time frame. Go to the five minute chart, it's going to repopulate. Okay, look at that. Oh, now I see that there's. Kind of a channel this way, okay, it makes sense. I go to the 15 minute chart, I look at it, I'm like, huh, okay, you know, based on uh, what we're doing, what's going on, I think, you know, we good chance we push up the pivot points. Well, what are you thinking when it comes to pivot points? Like, what are you using for a pivot point, Patrick? What I use for pivot points is very simple. We got pivot points, type it in up top there, trading view, it'll say pivot point standard. Pivot point standard is what I'm using, just very simple. Nothing crazy. I don't ever really change the settings, to be honest. I kind of just keep all the settings the way they are. So get the pivot points there. Bang, bang, bang. Traditional auto, 15, simple. And uh, yeah, that's my pivot points. And then obviously the last one, and then the last and most important one here is the VWAP, simply. And the last and the most important indicator, obviously, is the VWAP. And these are my settings. We kind of saw that 15 minute chart, how it's bullish on the 15 minute chart right now with the indicators. Uh, you know, if we're above the VWAP, we've got this fair value gap, 386. We got a pivot point up there at the 496s. All right, and it looks pretty good, 15 minute chart. We go to the two minute chart. Like, okay, it makes a little bit more sense, starting to push up. But again, you know, the big focus is what's going on with that bigger time frame. We got the VWAP down there. So we got the VWAP, we got the pivot points, we got the price action concepts from Lux Algo. You can check out the link down below if you want to sign up for Lux Algo. They've got a couple different features now where you can actually sign up for. I think it's like the price action uh, essentials package that you can sign up with. They've also got a bunch of indicators on TradingView as well. So you get all of these features inside of the price action concepts indicator. You got all this stuff going on, add on there. I kind of like the cool thing too of adding the different dailies and I have it on different chart, but you can see the different levels and it's always just kind of populating there on the chart and very easy to kind of keep track of all that stuff. So this is my go-to kind of like time frame, normally chart that I'm looking at that's like right here in front of me. You know, I've got trade of eight over here. Like on the right-hand side, I've got trade of eight over here. And this is like what I'm trading through. So if I'm putting a trade on, you know, I'm trading through this side. If you think about it, like my head is in the middle of that right there with the cameras over there. But basically I have trade of eight over here and then the charts, chart, charts. But on the left-hand side, I've got my main chart that I'm kind of like looking at and looking at the price action entries and all that. And then over here on the right-hand side, I got my trade of eight. And then as we go kind of like higher time frame, everything kind of spaces out this way, right? So that makes sense. On the far monitors is like the highest time frames that I'm looking at. So if I look at like this chart right here, this is the hourly chart. So I've got the hourly chart pulled up there. And right now we're looking on the hourly chart, kind of looking for different patterns, breakouts. We talked about the big hourly candle here at open. And for indicators, I pretty much have the same indicators on every chart. I just kind of adjust little things here and there. But again, Lux Algo on this chart. I don't actually have the VWAP on there because well, you know, I don't really need it on every single chart. Like I know where the VWAP's at, so it's not like I need to worry about it. But what's interesting, again, 
Like, look at this. Like, pullback here, very bullish pullback. Looking at the higher time frames. I mean, even pulling back to like the 340 area is still a very kind of bullish overall pullback there. So, that's what we have over here on the left hand side, the hourly chart that I'm looking at always. Above me there, I've got the ES. So, just to pull this down from top. I got the ES chart. We got the VWAP there on the ES. We've got the price action concepts. This is a two minute chart for the ES. I sometimes will normally keep it on like a five minute chart and keep the five minute chart there for the ES that I'm looking at. And the hourly chart below me, I have the ES on the hourly chart. So I always kind of looking at the ES and the NASDAQ together most of the time. If I'm looking at price action, you know, I really, I want to see like what's going on. So you can see on the left hand side over here, I've got the hourly chart for the NASDAQ, the hourly chart for the ES, and then, you know, smaller time frames. And then if we go over here to the right hand side, which I can't really show you, but same thing, right? I've got the SPY, I'll talk about that in a second, but I've got the dollar, and then I've got the NASDAQ 30 minute chart. I probably don't need the NASDAQ 30 minute chart, probably not. And then actually right here, I've got to talk about this one, right below all of this, it's kind of funny, I don't know why exactly it's there, probably would move this over, but right now I've got the YM, I've got the Dow pulled up, kind of keep an eye on what the Dow is doing, if the Dow is making a new low or a new high and vice versa. So I've got the Dow pulled up there with the pivot points, with the VWAP that I'm keeping a look at. And I would say the last and final, like most important piece of the puzzle here is basically, I've got the QQQ. This is the QQQ that we're looking at, and you're wondering, well, what's the QQQ? It's a ETF that tracks the NASDAQ, basically, made up of all the top NASDAQ stocks. Triple Q, three Qs, QQQ. So on the QQQ, what I'm looking at, what do I care about? Two things, I care about the VWAP and I care about the pivot point. Same thing we talked about earlier, we have the VWAP, everything pretty much the same setups. We've got the pivot points, same thing, pivot points traditional. Pivot points traditional, nothing crazy. And that gives me my level. So like today was a really good example of this. At open, the QQQ was sitting here at the 438s, right? This, that pivot point right there, right? We we're holding there at open. And I said that, you know, as we're pulling back, there's a pivot point right there at the 439s. So I'm like, okay, you know, if we hold that pivot point, that'll be bullish because if you look at the NASDAQ, right? What I, this is the reason I want to show you guys this. Look at the NASDAQ at open. Well, the closest pivot point was 183 on the NASDAQ. But if you look at the QQQ, there's a pivot point right there. So what happens or what I've found to happen is sometimes the NASDAQ will move based on the pivot points of the QQQ. I don't know if that's like 100% a fact, but I do know that after looking at it, that I have seen this happen where the NASDAQ bounces off the pivot point there at open and starts to push back up, we get the breakout, and then there's a pivot point there, pivot point there. I mean, I think the pivot points really at the end of the day give you a pretty good idea of kind of these ranges of expansion and decompression, and consolidation and support resistance, right? The pivot points really, of all the indicators, I think they're the one indicator that is not lagging price action on that day, right? These are data points or data sets that are basically calculated based on the previous day's action and sets the levels. So. The pivot points I've found to be probably the one indicator that like, hey, if the market is moving, the problem is, let's say the market's going higher and you're like, okay, the market's going higher, like where's my target at? These pivot points give you a very good kind of overall target and idea of where the market could possibly go. And so that's the five minute chart. The pivot points really only matter when you go above 15 minutes. So 15 minutes there, and then if you change it to 30, you see the pivot points change. But what's interesting because even on the 30 minute chart, guess what? There is that pivot point there on the NASDAQ from open. So when you go back to the 15 minute chart, well, there we are. So very, very interesting. Different time frames, different pivot points, but basically everything below 15 minutes is going to be this one right there. So that's the, the way we're looking at. When it comes down to indicators and what you should use, what time frame, all that stuff, it really comes down to your style of trading. If you're a breakout momentum trader, I think the two minute chart's really good because it gets rid of a lot of the noise and craziness that comes with the one minute chart. But the two minute chart is kind of like, you know, right there. Some people use a three minute chart, some people like the five minute chart, some people go even bigger. It really just comes down to what your overall strategy is. So I would never truly try to copy someone else's exact strategy. I would try to apply, you know, the idea of using the VWAP, the pivot points and things like that. I would try to apply those 
ideas to your own strategy and see if it works. Like, what's your strategy? Could you add pivot points? Would it help you? Would you, you know, would it be something useful or would it help end up hurting your overall trading style? So it really comes down to figuring out what works best for you. I've been doing this for seven years now and I've watched a lot of videos, people talking about what to trade, what not to trade and different indicators and what works, what doesn't work. And honestly, it's funny because now I'm at a point where pretty much all the advice and all the bullshit that I've listened to, I, like none of it exists anymore. Like it's all just like, I just had to kind of figure out on my own what's going to work and what's not going to work. And well, there it is. The VWAP, the pivot points, the Lux Algo indicator, price action concepts, link down below. Check out Lux Algo. If you want to learn more right now, Apex 80% off. You can trade up to 20 accounts, get funded in just one day. Apex paid out $25 million in payouts just last month in March. So there it is. I'll talk to you guys later on.